The goal is to go in there, sit down, be confident, and have me attack the exam rather than have the exam attack me. Good morning guys, it's 9 a.m. and it is a beautiful day here in Gainesville. I mean, just look at this, blue skies everywhere, the weather is perfect. It's a little bit late for my morning, it's 9 a.m., but the reason for that is I was up literally until 1 a.m. doing chemistry last night. Now you might be like, Danny, why in the world would you stay up until 1 a.m. doing chemistry? Like what psycho does that? Well, today at night, I will be taking what will probably be the hardest chemistry exam I have ever taken in my life. It's so hard that I decided I'm gonna start my day with a little stadium stair workout because if I can conquer this stadium, I can conquer anything. Hopefully that means I can conquer tonight's chemistry exam too. Today's exam is pretty much on acids, titration, titration curve, solubility, all that good stuff. But let me show you guys what I have been using to study. This is what I have mainly been using to study for this exam. If you've never seen this by the title of it, it is a student solutions manual. The key to chemistry is that you just have to keep doing a bunch of problems. Look at it this way. LeBron James didn't become LeBron James just by like watching practices, watching YouTube videos on basketball. He kept practicing and practicing. The same applies to chemistry. If you want to do well in chemistry, you just have to keep doing problem after problem after problem until you finally master it. The text this book has a bunch of different problems, but they don't really walk you through the problems. They just give you the problem, they give you answers, and that's about it. With chemistry, you actually have to know the process and how to get the right answer. If you're doing chemistry problems and you're getting them wrong, and then you just like check the right answer and you're like, oh yeah, like this is what I should have gotten, you're not learning sh. The beauty of the solutions manual is that it walks you through how to do the problems. So when you get them wrong, you can open up the solutions manual, read it, understand why you got it wrong, redo the problem, get it right, and keep doing more and more practice problems. The bad thing about today is that I have this really important chemistry exam that I've just been like emphasizing throughout this video. The good thing is though that tomorrow is the start of spring break. If my exam wasn't so late, literally, as soon as the exam ended, I would just like book it and drive straight to Miami. Same way pro athletes have pre-game meals, me and Arad are having a pre-exam meal. Arad, how do you feel about this chemistry exam? Uh, you know, it's a little bit daunting. I'm a little bit underprepared, but I think it'll be okay. The main phrase I would use for any exam was, this exam would determine if I become a doctor or not. But apparently people in my cohort got like really anxious by hearing that, and it is true, like one exam will not define me. But this exam is definitely the hardest one, and I put in so many hours into it, so if I fail or do bad, I will be really, really pissed. The goal is to go in there, sit down, be confident, and have me attack the exam rather than have the exam attack me. To be completely honest, I have like no idea how I did. All I'm gonna say is that there were at least like three problems that I straight up spent like maybe like 10 minutes for each problem. I was just going back and forth between answers, trying to figure it out, and I just like couldn't really be confident with what I got. Yo, so update. It's literally been like a week since I took that exam and I know that I'm like sitting in the same exact spot of like when I was gonna end this vlog originally, but I found out what I got on my exam. Guys, after a lot of hard work, I got a 180 out of 200, which translates to 90% or 
an A. I worked super hard to get this A, and I remember last semester, the first chem exam I ever took, I got like the worst score in the entire class. I got like a 20 or 30%, it was like really low. But to come back this semester, stronger, harder, just like with a better mentality proves that if you really wanna do well in chemistry, you just have to put in the effort and you can definitely do it. That sounded like a little inspirational speech, but I'm being serious. Like if you wanna get an A, it's possible. But guys, that is it for me. I've been on the spring break for like a week and tomorrow I like start classes again. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to stay up to date on my weekly uploads. That is it for me, but always remember to stay hydrated.